Hello Horde, and today I'm going to carry on playing Cube World. Um, since I played last, um, I've worked out how to fix uh, the lag, which is a good thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to also show you how to start. I've worked out what you need to do, um, like little tips that you can do, uh, little tips that you need when you first start. So yeah. Um, First things first, the lag. Uh, if you go into your O for options, obviously, uh, first uh, you need to make sure that um, your render distance is low, that uh, anti-analyzing is disabled, uh, make sure you're on full screen mode because that also helps, and yeah. Um, so that's how to make it lag a bit less. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that is how to make it lag less. Um, okay. Now the next thing is if I open my inventory, which you might not actually open. Oh, it actually did. Um, pets. Oh. Um, every like shop at the beginning um, sells some sort of pet food. That is, the pet is actually in the town. So, uh, first things first, you need to obviously kill like a goblin or something. So, it's, normally it's like some sort of human creature or um, some sort of like player that you can actually be. You know, like goblin or um, like undead. Uh, then you need to equip it into your pet. Uh, oops. Inventory. And then you have to find... The pet. Um, Bubblegum, which you think this is. I think this is, yeah, this is Bubblegum. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, Bubblegum is for, I think, a collie. But I definitely know collies are in town. Uh, but yeah, you either get, like, you get some sort of pet food um, that you can buy in the first, uh, the first time that you, uh, like, spawn next to when you first make a world. And um, you can tame an animal in that town. Um, obviously, it costs uh, a tiny bit of money uh, to actually get the food uh, for the pet. Uh, but yeah, um, there's always one in a town, so I always remember that. Oh, I keep forgetting that. There it is. I can see one. Oh, oh, ah. Oh. You cannot jump over fences, it looks like. There's one. So this is how you do it. So you, uh, oh, not E, I. I quit your pet food that you bought from the shop, and look, and then look, you've got your pet. Uh, so like I was saying, every um, town um, has like a shop that sells. Um, the pet food. I think it was the potion shop. I think I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I forgot which. Shop. I'll have a look actually now. I'll have a look around town because I also need to buy something else. So yeah, once you've got your pet, um, you're pretty much a bit more. You pretty much double your strength because uh, you've got two people that can fight and level up. Um, uh, so yeah, once you've got uh, your pet, you need to then um, uh, get potions. That's it. I'm trying to work out what I need then. Um, yeah, so potions, uh, which you also need a tiny bit of money for to buy the bottles. Uh, but I want to see if I bought any. I might have bought some. Oh no. This is a problem with Cube World on like a bad, like a pretty crap computer like mine, is that it lags a lot. Uh, let's see, do I have any like bottles? I hope I do. No, I don't. Oh wait, no, it's not actually clicking. Yeah, I do. Okay, so you get glass flasks from definitely the potion one, and then you go into a well. Um, you open like your recipe thing, and then. So yeah, you go into like a well, you open your recipe thing, and then pretty much done. Uh, well, 
you also need a heart flower. But I'll also show you that as well. So yeah, this episode is probably going to show you how to actually start. Because last time when I first came on Cube World, I was pretty much... I didn't know what I was doing, basically. I didn't know what I was doing at all. Um, now I know a bit more, not a lot more. But yeah, um... Let's see, I wanna, I'm not very good at my town, I always get lost. I mean, I have no idea where I'm going now. Uh, so you're probably gonna sort of watch me like run around for like five minutes. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Uh, my town's a bit of a, like a maze. Hopefully it's not gonna go night time. No, it's not. It's 12 o'clock. Oh, that's something I've worked out as well. Uh, if you're out in the wilderness at night, it's awful. Don't be out in the wilderness at night. Um, I know where I am now. It's that way, I think. Uh, if you're out in the wilderness at night, make sure that you try and find an inn so you can sleep. Because it's awful. So yeah, this is a potion shop. So you look for this sign that says uh, that shows you like a potion. Um, ah, to open the door, obviously. Uh, then you need to go to the person selling it, ah. and then they sell glass flasks for two coins, um, or well, two copper. So these potion people, uh, these potion people, these potion like vendors, um, you can buy um, flasks from. And like a, a thought so, so I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, they the potion place also sells the only pet food in town. So it's not like because every town has like a special pet that you can get. Um, but yeah. So the potion place. Look for this sign when you uh, when you've got a bit of money. Uh, get your pet food. Find your pet, and get a few potions. So I've got my pet. I've got uh, some glass flasks. Now I'll show you how to fill them up. Um, now you have to find a well. So look for, around your town. I think I can see a well up there. I think that's it. Right in distance. Yeah, it is, I think. Oh, jump's a bit laggy. Uh, but yeah, these are what you're looking for as well. So once you've got your glass flask, um, you need to find a heart flower. So there's your heart flower. Then find a well. I swear I saw a well. I just run past it. What? Oh. oh. That was a surprise. Was... Oh, there it is. Well. So you look for a well. Um, and you jump in the well. Oop. So I... No, my dog's in the well. I'm not. And then you press C for craft. Then you go on to your... There you go, last one to formulas, and then you click this like little like, icon in the corner, if you can see it like a little sword, and keep pressing it, like spam click. Um, so spam click it, so that you get fill and water. So yeah, there we go. And then go on to alchemy, and then make health potion. I mean, I've got a lot. I've been picking up a lot of flowers, so I've been ready for this. So, how to start is basically uh, obviously you're gonna have to look around for a bit to find like some sort of like um, there we go uh, to find uh, someone that drops that type of loot that you're looking for. Uh, not loot, to find a type of creature that drops coins, so you're gonna have to kill quite a lot to find um, coins, but then once you've killed that right creature, um, you can uh, take the money back to the shop, obviously buy the pet food that the potion person sells, uh, buy a few empty flasks, fill them up with water, find some like flow heart flowers around uh, the land, and obviously find your pet and tame it. Uh, tab helps you quickly switch to the potion so you, you can easily drink it. So let's say it's not in your like hot bar at bottom like it is for mine, uh, the Q. Um, so let's say it wasn't in there. If you press tab, it'd, it'd jump into Q. Um, I think control is climb. 
Yep. So if you well, a wall's too um, tall or a mountain's too tall for you to climb uh, to jump over, you can climb uh, any flat surface uh, by holding uh, control. I think it's not actually holding control. It's, it actually stays on. Oh no, it doesn't. So yeah, hold control and then look, you climb. So that's them. Uh, now what else? So I've taught you how to get, reduce your lag. I've taught you how to get potions. Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you. Um, the next thing to do is in your town is look for this, the crafting district. Now the crafting district allows you to craft your first sets of armor, um, which. You should always have like some sort of default armor, you see. Uh, depending on what class you are, depends on what um, things you require. I require quite a lot, uh, unfortunately. Whereas my ranger didn't. My ranger only needed like string or something to like get some. Uh, I think it was like woolen armor or something, like woven armor or something. I can't remember what. The ranger's going to do this. So yeah, uh, obviously you get iron from mines. And you just attack. Or to get it. So yeah, I'll leave this. Uh, is it hard to? Yeah, hard to leave. Um, and I'll. So I've taught you how to get potions. Um, I've taught you how to get your first animal. So your first animal. So you need that pet food from the potion place as well as them glass potions. And now, what else? Um, so what basics? Oh, I think. If I can remember, um, the what uh, the colours mean. Do you know what mobs colours mean? Um, okay, white means that they are below your level, so they're gonna be really, really easy. Blue means they're the same level as you. Um, orange name tags mean they're a bit harder, but you can take them still, and you get. Uh, a decent amount of XP, uh, and red mean you've got no chance basically. Um, so yeah, that's how the names work. Um, for the actual, um, I played each class now, so I actually know which is best. The mage is basically really overpowered. Um, if you, oh god, someone's trying to kill me. I think. Uh, the mage is really overpowered. Um, so, uh, if you get the right staff, you can basically range attack for quite high damage. So, so any um, melee attack, uh, like me melee enemies, pretty much die before they even get to you. Um, rangers, uh, the default bow um, is hard to use. Personally, I can't do it. Um, if you've got good skills, I mean, this little, you can see this little, like, um, X on my screen, um, which obviously shows you where you're looking. Um, but obviously, with an archer, you have to aim, shoot, aim, shoot, aim, shoot, aim, shoot. So half the time you miss, um, which is pretty annoying. Uh, so, but to overcome this, this witch is going to kill me. So I'm just going to like stay down here five. Um, to overcome this. Uh, if you hit these bushes with your ranger, you pick these logs up, you take them back to the crafting table. No way, I just showed you. There's like a, there's another, you know that, like, in that crafting district, there'll also be a crafting table. Um, oh, is that you? Uh, so, yeah, in that crafting district, there'll also be a crafting table where you can make wooden blocks, and you can make them wooden blocks uh, into a boomerang for your ranger. And then suddenly it's a lot easier and you can kill a lot more people and life becomes a lot easier. Okay, another thing is fires. No fires, um, you can craft uh, um, soups and stuff that you've got. So I picked up a lot of pumpkins uh, from the town, do you know that town that works? There's like farms there. So I w I'm able to make pumpkin muffins. You can only do this a campfire, um, so obviously make a few. So 
so yeah, this is how you make food. So look for a campfire. Um, after you've found like some mushrooms or something. And obviously craft into muffins and whatever else you've got. Soups and stuff. Obviously as you level up, uh, you can buy um, better uh, ingredient, not better ingredient, yeah, I don't know if you can actually buy better ingredients, you might be able to buy better ingredients, but I mean better recipes that do better, that heal you better, um, but yeah, um, your town has pumpkins, pineapples, or pumpkins or pineapples, uh, so just basically just take loads, uh, take as many as you can, I mean, obviously you just run around pretty neat, crazily, and you'll pick up loads like I did. Uh, 50 is max you can pick up of anything. That's why I only had 50 of them. Uh, now these are... Oh, gym root. I've seen these around. Uh, these are them roots. Uh, if I can find one in a sec, I'll show you them. Uh, they basically just spawn anywhere. So, yeah. And pumpkin. Uh, pineapple full slices. They're also in the town, but I didn't pick any of them up. Uh, I don't know if my town had them, I can't remember. Ah, to close your window. So, done all that. Um, now, depend on your class, depends on what you need. Um, if you hit trees, you can get fibres, which some classes need to make their armour. Um, you can also get... Um, what is this? No, I thought it is. Um, cobweb, which I think you can turn into like string and stuff, which is also made, used to make some sort of armour. Or is it wool or something? Mushrooms are used later on in um, some sort of, uh, what you call it, what you call it now, potion. I think that heals your mana though, you know, yeah, MP there. What's this? Um, so, since it's blue, I know I can take it. So, I think I've covered all the basics. Um... Yeah, so I'll go through. I'll refresh your memory just for the last time before I call it there. Um, let's see what. So what I've covered in this episode is how to reduce your lag. Uh, go on to options. Oh, I press options. It opens. That means it's gonna lag. Um, so you go into your options. Uh, change your render distance to whatever you want. Um, as you can see, it's lagging a lot less than it was. Uh, obviously, my um, for some reason my like uh, windows when they pop up, you know, like your rest, uh, crafting recipes and obviously my options and stuff and my map take forever to load. I don't know why they just do, uh, but yeah, look, uh, it's pretty fast now that I've reduced the render distance and stuff. It's a lot faster than it was. I mean, I'll basically just jitter in. Oh god, the wizard. Uh, jittering around so yeah um so that's how to get rid of your lag obviously make sure you're on full screen uh, make sure you've got the right resolution before unless you're like me and like an idiot and you change resolution so you have to go into your options to change it back or because you can't physically see the option to change it again because you've made it so zoomed in um uh, obviously, change your resolution. Um, make sure that that uh, is the analyzer is disabled. Um, full screen analyzer and change your lower your resolution to make it lag less. Uh, when you first start, make sure you kill um, some sort of like people. Obviously, they'll drop coins, but they're wizards and witches, which normally like kit one shot you because they've got like um, a really long range attack. Um, like a beam of light, basically, that just kills you. Uh, but basically, when you start, find something, uh, find a person, kill them, take the, go uh, take the gold, pick it up, obviously, with E. Um, uh, take it back to the town, buy whatever food it is, that the pet food that is that the potion person sells. Um, then buy some um, empty flasks. Fill them empty flasks up at a well. Uh, obviously, you open your crafting recipe, um, craft, uh, crafting window up by pressing C. Uh, so that's uh, then also find obviously heart plants um, and then craft them. You can craft them anywhere. Uh, 
that is a gin root. So if you collect these uh, food in the farms at your town, uh, when you find an open uh, campfire, which I just saw a second ago, I can't remember where I saw it. I think it's up here, is it? Never mind. Uh, when you find an open campfire, you can make it into food, which you can eat. When you're eating, you have to sit down. When you're potion, you can run around. So that's some, an important thing to remember. Um, uh, so yeah, potions, you can run around. So when you're attacking, potions are good to... When you're losing a battle, to good to drink so you can retreat. Or um, good to drink so you can easy fight them. Food's good for when you're not uh, in the middle of battle. So like now when I'm like dying, food would be good. Uh, for me to eat because you sit down. Um, what else? So, so covered food, covered potions, armor. Um, every class has armor, so look for either cotton plants, uh, iron, um, or then like fibers that are in them, like shrubs. And then go to the either the crafting bench, uh, the furnace. Or like the wee, uh, the spinning wheel to actually make your armor when you've collected enough. Uh, so that's armor covered, potions covered, food covered. Um, white means low. Uh, white name bars mean that they're lower than you. Blue means the same. Orange name bars mean they're just a bit tougher, but you can take them more or less. And Red means they're insane and you're probably gonna die unless you're in like a pack, unless you've got like a group of friends with you. Um, so, yeah, you can climb with control. I think I've covered everything now. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Uh, hit like and favorite if you're enjoying me on Cube World and you wanna um, see more of it. Uh, that's a boss, I think, actually. Ooh, I'll let, so, that's what I didn't cover. Oh, that was lucky. Um, bosses, there's like uh, elite mobs round. Elite mobs will have different nameplates. I think the purple. And they'll look a bit different. Like, if these bees look like alright. If bees are a bit discoloured compared to a different one, normally, obviously, it'd be a bit yellow. Uh, but obviously, its lines are a bit redder. So yeah, elites are around, and uh, with elites, if you can kill them, um, you get the drop like um, a block that you can add to your weapon to make it stronger. It'll have some sort of weird ability, like I hope I've got some on me. Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, it'd be like fire or something, or ice. Um, you can normally, t you can sometimes take elites with potions. Um, but bosses are normally a bit harder for level ones and stuff. You know, like bosses, you know, with a, uh, uh, them two crosses on the map mean there's so, like some sort of quest there, which you, quests mean you get more loot, uh, not more loot, more XP. Um, so yeah, that is how you play Cube World. So thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite if you've enjoyed watching me on Cube World and you want to see more. Um, hit subscribe if you want to see more content by me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!